In March of last year, our neighbor cut down a birch tree and I got a piece of it to cut up for use later. And at the time it was sopping wet, so I was curious, how long does this take to dry? So I weighed all the pieces before I put them out to dry in the shed and I've been weighing them every month ever since. So here's all my weight readings in Microsoft Excel and then I converted those to a percentage of initial weight and graphed that. And this tick mark here is one month after I started drying it and it's already gone more than halfway to its final point. Two months, three months and then at four months a lot of the pieces, except for the thickest one, the black line is uh, 75 millimeters or 3 inches thick. They started to gain weight again because they got uh, damp outside, so I moved them into the basement and let them dry over the winter. But realistically, after about four months, things were pretty close to their final weights already, but they didn't converge on the same value, and I think that's because the initial moisture content of the pieces wasn't quite the same because they came from different parts of the log. So now adjusting it as a percentage of final weight, so the pieces start out about twice as heavy as they were in the final thing, and you can see they pretty much converge together, and the thinnest piece here, that would be the line in red, basically even after a few days it was close to its final value, and then the next thinnest piece, that's the purple line, also came down pretty quickly. After a month it was just about there, this is just after a few days. Um, so those are a good guidance for where they should end up because the thinnest pieces would of course dry the fastest. So once they converge, everything is pretty much at equilibrium already. And we can see here the uh, weight is actually increasing again and that's because the uh, humidity in the basement is going up a little bit as it gets towards summer. And these lines are all very close together so I plotted this again on a different scale and you can see the red line kind of jumps around by increments because those are essentially one gram increments but the other lines they pretty much follow each other very nicely. Conventional wisdom is that for every inch of thickness of wood it will take one year to dry so this should have taken one year and this should have taken three years but this only took maybe a couple of months to get uh, to equilibrium and this took uh, maybe six or eight months so much, much faster than expected. Now for these thick pieces what may have happened is that the moisture is actually much more able to travel along the grain. So it came out the ends instead of having to go through the sides. Which is to say if these pieces were much longer they may have taken quite a bit longer to dry. But still this is way, way faster than you would expect them to dry. Of course if I kept the wood outside all year it probably wouldn't dry very much during the winter. But still, lesson here is wood can dry way faster than conventional wisdom says it should.